Hope you didn't run into any trouble. We've got a free workbench for all your modifications. Scope, clip size, barrels. Ellie? Are you here? Nick? Oh god, it's really you. Well, it's hard to mistake this mug for anyone else. <laughs> you keep laughing at death. Someday, death's gonna laugh back. Not as long as I got a few friends to back me up. You saved Nick, this agency, and my job. Thank you. Hey, happy to do it. Yeah? Go diving into scary pre-war ruins all the time then, do you? Here, I know an amount wasn't on the table when you went out to find him, but... You deserve a reward. Plus a little something extra. You know, if you're looking for work and don't mind putting on the detective hat, Nick sure could use a new partner. Whoa. One case at a time, Ellie. Our new friend needs our help first. All right, let's get down to business. Take a seat. Make yourself comfortable. When you're trying to find someone who's gone missing, the devil is in the details. Tell me everything you can. No matter how painful it might be. My wife was... murdered. She was trying to keep them from taking Sean and they... They just... It's okay. You don't need to say anything more. So, we're talking about a group of cold-hearted killers. But they waited until something went wrong to resort to violence. What else can you tell me? We were in a vault when it happened. Vault 111. It was some kind of cryo facility. You were on ice, huh? More importantly, you were underground, sealed up. It's a lot of obstacles to get through just to take one person. Anything else you remember? We're looking for my son, Sean. He's less than a year old. Why would anyone take him? Good question. Why your family in particular? Why an infant? Someone would be taking on all of his care, and a baby needs a lot of it. Well, that confirms it. This isn't a random kidnapping. Whoever took your kid had an agenda. Hmm. There's a lot of groups in the Commonwealth that take people. Raiders, super mutants, the Gunners. And, of course, there's the Institute. Who are the Gunners? High-end mercenaries. No job too brutal. They're in the running as likely suspects. They wouldn't be the ones pulling the strings. You think raiders might have done this? <laughs> I honestly doubt it. They can barely organize themselves, let alone pull off something this complicated. So you think this institute is responsible? Well, they're the boogeymen of the Commonwealth. Something goes wrong, everyone blames them. Easy to see why. Those early model synths of theirs strip whole towns for parts, killing everything in their way. Then you got the newer models, good as human, that infiltrate cities and pull strings from the shadows. Worst of all, no one knows why they do it, what their plan is, or where they are. Not even me. And I'm a synth myself. A discarded prototype, anyway. You're a prototype? As far as I know. Never seen any other synth like myself. There's the older ones that are dumb as rocks and all metal, and there's the newer ones that are almost human. I'm somewhere in between. Either way, I need to find Sean. You're right. The speculation is getting us off track. Let's focus on what you saw. What did these kidnappers look like? I'll never forget that voice. Low and rough. Like sandpaper across your face. Huh. Not much to go on. But a tough and commanding voice can get someone pretty far in the violence business. What else? The woman was dressed in, um... I think it was a kind of hazard suit. The man had some sort of metal brace on his arm. Maybe some kind of improvised armor? A lot of hired guns do that to look tough. The hazard suit is interesting. Not many mercs can afford something that fancy. What else do you remember about them? One of them came right up to me. Bald head. Scar across his left eye. Wait. It couldn't be. You didn't hear the name Kellogg at all, did you? No. 
They never said their names. Hmm. It's way too big of a coincidence. Ellie, what notes do we have about the Kellogg case? The description matches. Bald head, scar, reputation for dangerous mercenary work, but no one knows who his employer is. And he bought a house here in town, right? And he had a kid with him, didn't he? Yeah, that's right. The house in the abandoned West Stands. The boy with him was around 10 years old. There's no way that could be Sean. Yeah, big difference between an infant and a 10-year-old, but that doesn't mean we're on the wrong track. He could have a son of his own. Or maybe he's turned kidnapping into a bad habit. In any event, they both vanished a while back. No trace. Let's you and I take a walk over to Kellogg's last known address. See if we can snoop out where he went. Security doesn't really go to that part of town, but you two should still be careful. I always am. I think you should know. Everything I dug up about Kellogg before his disappearance? Bad news. He's more than just a mercenary. He's a professional. Quick, clean, thorough. Has no enemies, because they're all dead. Except you. Nine to one odds says he's our man. It's more than just you identifying his distinguishing features. The M.O. is all him as well. Leading a small team to kidnap a baby and leaving one of the parents alive for later? Not many mercs in the Commonwealth can pull that off. Here we are. Keep an eye out, will you? See if I can get this open. One heck of a lock. Got something to hide, Kellogg? Why don't you give it a try? Yes. Let's take a look around. Kellogg must have left something behind. Place seems small to you? A guy like Kellogg would think big. Well, that's one way to hide a room. Look at this. All of a Merc's favorite thing. Gwyneth Stout beer, 44 caliber bullets, and cigars. San Francisco Sunlights. Hmm, interesting brand. Won't lead us anywhere on its own, though. I wonder if dog meat could pick up the scent. Say, that's not a bad idea. Some dogs out there in the Commonwealth can track a man for miles. Well, dog meat seems eager for the job. Why don't you let him have a whiff? See if he picks up on the trail. Uh, before you head out, uh, I know this is personal business. If you have to face Kellogg on your own, just say so. I want you with me on this, Nick. All right. Now let's get that bastard. This is your show from here on out, okay? You say jump, I'll say how high. Dog meat. Get the scent, boy. Take me to him, boy. Take me to Sean. I've been told those Valentine Detective Agency signs are...
Kellogg must have stopped here. Search around, see if we can pick up the trail. San Francisco sunlights. Dog meat find something? Kellogg's preferred brand, all right. Kellogg's still out there. We've got to track him, boy. Hmm. What do you think, boy? Enough to go on? like another one of Kellogg's pit stops. Keep your eyes open. Bloody bandages. Dog meat can track this. That nose is second We gotta to stick nine. together, pal. At least until we find Kellogg. Okay, boy. Let's track him. <laughs>
I'll need your nose to track Kellogg, boy. All right, dog meat's found something. You know the drill. Exercise All of the party function. happened here. Alert. Critical signs. Alert. Critical signs. Attention, assailant. Lower your weapons immediately. Tracking known mercenary. Exercise extreme caution. System corrupt. I can't feel my legs. Well, how about this? Fancy meeting you out here. What are you doing out here? I decided it was time to get out more. See the world a bit. Figure out what to do with the rest of my life. Maybe you can help me. I've been looking for some things for a new research project. I need a large quantity of fiber optics. I'd be glad to purchase any that you have. Well, I'm sure I can give you a better price than most any common trader. Sure. Let me see if I have any. I have... Let's go, Edward. Hey. Go ahead. Hey. Hey. What is it, boy? What are we looking for? Another one of his stogies.
here, boy? Well, you dog meat would sniff our man out. Let's you and I take it from here. Give our four-legged friend a break. Take a look at that terminal. Hello? You must have muted. We got away with machines. Sensor anomaly detected. Kellogg's secure facility infiltrated. <laughs>
target has disappeared. Someone's coming. You cannot escape detection for long. Critical failure. Something out. I am equipped with the most advanced institute sensors available. I will find you. Hey, I'm see listening. See what you can do. Good point. Your expertise. Huh. Standard defenses are still up, which likely means open for business. Going up. 
Got it. Get 
for it now. Guts and determination. It's admirable. But you are in over your head in ways you can't possibly comprehend. Go check that out.
So, here we are. Where is my son? Where is Sean? <laughs> Pal, I'm just a puppet like you. My stage is a little bigger, that's all. Sean's a good kid. A bit older than you expected, am I right? But he's doing great. Only... He's not here. He's with the people pulling the strings. Tell me where he is, damn it. Fine. I guess you've earned that much. Sean's in a good place. Where he's safe and comfortable and loved. The place he calls home. The Institute. The Institute? Well, I'll find him. No matter where he is, nothing will stop me. God, you're persistent. I give you credit. It's the way a father should act. The way I'd be acting if I was in your place, I like to think. Even if it is useless. But I think we've been talking long enough. We both know how this has to end. So, you ready? You know, in a hundred years, when I finally die, I only hope I go to hell, so I can kill you all over again, you piece of shit. Take a look around and get all the intel this place is behind. Excellent. Battles are won with fists. So, Kellogg wasn't giving us any bull. Your son really is on the inside. Even I don't know where the Institute is. And they built me. 
You don't know anything, Nick? Look at me. I'm trash. They threw me in the junk pile ages ago. Just another discarded prototype. Didn't exactly leave me the house keys. <sighs> We're in the weeds here. Time to take a step back, bring in some fresh eyes. Only person I know willing to snoop up the Institute's tail feathers is Piper, the reporter in Diamond City. I say we head her way, talk this through. Diamond City it is. Hey, chin up. I know the night just got darker, but it won't last forever. Who do you think actually won the war? Nobody, I guess. Going up. Fearing. 